Hey YouTube, Opinionated Review here. Bring you guys a video on Protect Eye. And it's in, I think, the Big Boss Repo for $2.99. And basically what this tweak is, or for the people that it's for, is people that always get paranoid and always super private and hate giving other people your devices because you feel that they're going to check your information. Now, there's a ton of settings in here which we're going to go through, so pay attention. So, as I said, basically, if you if you, you normally give people your device, you're worried about them checking your photos, checking your contacts, checking your text messages, your notification, etc., etc., this is definitely a tweak for you. So, let's go ahead and go through it. First of all, you can go ahead and select the apps that you do not want to be launched when this tweak is enabled, which you have to set an activation uh, method for it. So, you guys can See right here, I have my contacts, city, uh, mail, messages, photos, phone, notes, and Twitter. I have all of those selected. So whichever one that you have on, that those are apps that are not going to be able to launch when you enable this tweak. Now, that's just a tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more features. You have to obviously set your activation method, which I just have mine at down, hold, short, down, hold the volume button. So if I'm giving somebody my device, as soon as I can just go ahead, down, hold the volume button, it's going to activate without any message. It's just going to vibrate to let you know. And then, yeah, nobody is going to know that I actually activated the tweak. So you can put this on for vibration alert that I just told you guys but you can actually enable a password for what you want if you want the tweak to be disabled it have to put in a password which is good the pad the default password is one two three four I changed mine to just zero four zeros here you can go ahead and this is for disable the launch you can disable icon launch you can disable the search icon launch from the search from your multitasking um, tray and also tapping of notifications so when you have your notifications up here in your notification center if you don't want people to tap them when they see them you could go ahead and enable those as well now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate these for you guys but I'm just gonna go ahead and run through them quickly first so now you can go ahead and disable your notification site if you don't want your alerts banners your notifications and items which I'm going to show you your lock screen notifications if you don't want that so let's go ahead and just test out a few of these before I go down anyhow so what I'm going to do I'm going to just go ahead and enable this tweak so come on and just hold my volume button and now it's enabled try to launch the phone I can't launch the phone Cydia cannot be launched Twitter uh, my messages, none of those can be launched. I am, I, my notification center, you guys can see I have that enabled as well. That can't be launched. But my so now let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to go ahead and send myself a text message. So let's go ahead and just send or whatever, just something random. And we're going to see if I actually got the message. So I'm going to go back out. And you can see my badge number here says 6. It was actually 5 before. So that means I got the message. I can actually go ahead and enable this so that that number doesn't increase. So I'm going to send myself another message. So just send. And my badge number shouldn't increase when I go back out to my uh, springboard. But I actually did send myself the message. So you can see it still is 6. So you can go ahead and enable that. If you don't want people to launch your notifications. If you want to disable notification center items, you can do that. I'm going to leave that on because I want to go ahead and um, actually disable the one for launching notification center. Where the hell is it? So here it is. This is the option for disabling your notification center. So now I can pull this down. And you guys can see what my text messages read is none your business. Yeah, that's what I said. Hi. That's actually custom. So you guys see this sentence right here. Whatever you want to be disabled for your notification content, no matter where it's from, whether it's the bank, Twitter, this is what you can put. So I put the title, the subtitle, and the actual message. I could just go ahead and erase this. And let me, I got to guess I got to send myself another message for that to come true. Oh, no, I just had to go out. So you guys see it's not saying hi anymore. So you don't want to put actually put the message because if having the same message for everything is going to be a little bit suspicious. This is the only option. I don't know what it's for. That's the only one. I'm not sure what that one is for. Everything else I'm familiar with. Let's scroll down a bit. You can see here is the contact the apps that you don't want to be launched from spotlight so you can see I have the same couple stuff enabled so I'm going to go into my spotlight search and just tap, look for messages 
and I touch it, it can't be launched from there. But the only bug that I found, if you go ahead and you actually search for a contact, which is a contact inside contacts, that's I have mine at test, and you tap it, it's actually going to launch that app. Obviously, I exited it because I don't want you guys to see the info. But yeah, that's the only bug I saw. So hopefully, that should um, they should fix that in an update. So that's the spotlight stuff. Here is if you want to disable your notification center. So right now, my notification center is accessible. Enable that. It can't access my notifications. Send you want to disable the install uninstalling of apps, moving of your icons. If you want to disable Siri and also disable um, pasteboard, which is copy or paste. You can also hide your photos, which is in the beta. So it says back up your photos before you go ahead and try this. So definitely back up your photos before you go ahead and try this. Now I could go in depth and all of those settings, but I've, the video is already about six minutes long or whatever. So I'm definitely gonna end it right here. So I gotta go ahead and enter my passcode to disable this boom it's disabled and I could go ahead and actually launch Cydia so you can disable your banners your notifications all together if you don't want nobody seeing and you just want them to access what you want them to access this is definitely a tweak for you it's called protect I it's in the big boss repo for $2.99 it's a matter of preference if you want to get it or not if you're a sneaky and private person definitely get it with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.